Alexei Emelin will play for Russia at the World Championships, according to Russian scout Igor Kravchuk. And Max Pacioretty will give his time to the USA team, like he gives his time to charity even more generously. It's rewarding when people come up to me and say thank you so much for giving back, and I think it's more rewarding than uh, when people recognize you, your good games or something like that. And uh, being able to embrace uh, the community in Montreal has been an honor, and I hope to do it for years to come. How many uh, autographs over the course of your life do you figure you're going to sign, Louis, being with the Montreal Canadiens? I don't know, probably a thousand, you know, a few thousand. Uh, but it's all good, it's for the fans, and uh, it's good to see that they support you. P.K. Subban actually had two charity engagements this morning, just to give people an understanding of what the Habs do for the community, which is a lot, considering they just concluded three games in four nights. We also got to meet the new COO of the Canadians, Kevin Gilmore, who comes from 23 years in Anaheim, but still has perfect French. You talk to your mom three times a week in French, you keep your French. Plus, there's a, there's a fairly large French community in Southern California, and obviously a lot of them in the hockey business, so it gave me a chance to kind of, uh, you know, working with guys like Luc Robitaille and Pat Brice and all the agent guys like that that I spoke to in French regularly, kept, it, uh, kept my French uh, pretty sharp. News related to the Montreal Expos as well as Warren Cromarty announced that he would be heading the Montreal Baseball Project with an ultimate goal of bringing them back. Cromarty saddened and inspired to act by the passing of his great friend, Gary Carter. I'm really still saddened. I cried for two days. Uh, I'm very proud to have played with him as a teammate, and uh, he was a real deal. It's an honor to be able... And shockingly, the eighth edition of The Breakfast had even one more news headline, as Trudeau Park in Cote St. Luke will have its field named as Gary Carter Field in honor of the kid. With four major points of news revealed at a celebrity breakfast, pretty easy to see that the sold-out event is run by an editor, writer of the suburban newspaper, Michael Cohen. Brian Wilde, CTV Sports.